So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another React Native tutorial. Actually the part 3 of calculator, making calculator app in React Native. And in this tutorial let's just proceed on with what we have done so far and let's just make it a little, little bit more usable and customizable. Okay so right now you can see that we have these tiny little ugly buttons right here with us. So let's just make them full width and height. And to do that, actually, what we have to do is not use this button, but use something else. Let's just say touchable opacity. And what this is, is basically just like a button, but it just responds to your touch nicely. So I can just say that this is something like that. And if I just change it for one row right now, there we are. So if I save it, okay, we just need button for now. So yeah, touchable opacity needs you to add a text node. So we'll need to change it here as well. So now <clears throat> what we can see right here is that if I touch on this kind of response if you can see so let's say this is style dot button right here with us so here we are right and right here if I just go ahead and say button as flex one align items stretch line self as stretch as well and this should be obviously styles right so what we can see now that this touchable opacity thing responds even if I tap right here right instead of on that zero so that means our button is kind of working for now so what we can say is just instead is just make it like justify content center and align items center because we would be anyway listening to the touchable opacity right here instead so let's just see you can see that it would get messy really quickly right here if we continue to develop code like this so what i'm going to do is actually develop this whole button section separately so let's just say i do something like uh, for let i equal zero i is less than three i plus plus which is the number of one two three four let's just make it four number of rows for let i equal for let j equal zero j is less than three j plus plus right and for now what we can do is just say that uh, let two uh, elements is something like that or we can just say something like view or actually let's just keep it an empty array so what we can do right here is just say um, lit row is also an empty array and right here what I'm gonna say is that row dot push touchable opacity and basically this block of code right here I'm just gonna copy this and let's just change it to i or rather i plus one right and uh, here i'm gonna say elements dot push and uh, what i want to push is a view style of styles dot row with the uh, r row 
in it and here we go so I hope it makes sense I can just name it rows so that it makes more sense right so we have our all that stuff now so right now what I can just basically do is go ahead and delete all of this and just say and actually till here and just say rows right so if I hit save you can see that we get uh, it right but it kind of is not really what we want so it would be kind of like this so you can see the, that we get one two three two three four three four five what the hell okay let's see um so you might want to just debug this stuff later on so i'm just gonna assume that i got numbers in the right place i'll just take a look at why they are not in the right place it's it's somewhere in this logic so you can just figure it out yourself so what i want instead right now is to just basically show you, you can see that all of these buttons now respond to the touch so we can say that uh, i can give it a property of like styles dot button text right and uh, i can just go ahead and create this as well and say that it has a font size of let's just say um 25 maybe or let's just say 30 right so here we are with our buttons right here for the calculator and uh, similarly what we can do for our operations is a similar thing right here so and actually let's just fix it right here quickly and actually to fix this what we can do is just say let nums is uh, um, let's just see one two three four five six seven eight nine and actually for the last row we had to actually work out of the loop because last row is not really um, you know numbers all numbers so it's kind of like I'm not sure um, there's a zero in middle and there's an equal to I believe at the end but again I'm not really sure so let's just keep it zero zero and equal to for now I'll just see in the calculator later on so now I can just say here as nums of i and j right and we get our correct output now so that is one way and similarly what we can do is for the operations we can name them like plus minus multiply divide one two three four right so um, what I'm gonna do is now let's just say I copy this or well, actually we do not need to copy it at all we can just say let k equal to zero and actually we can just make use of i again because um, this is scoped inside the function so I'm just gonna say i plus plus again just like that so again let's just see let ops something like this so I'm gonna say ops dot push and then this whole stuff right here which we had earlier with the exception that again it is a button in fact but this would be operations and uh, this could be the button text only that's not a problem so here we are and uh, let's just name this ops here and operations of i should be sufficient here and there we go so what we can do here is instead of just applying the button text class what I can do is apply another class styles.white let's just say which is which just makes it white right so there we are with our basic calculator interface with the buttons working kind of right at least responding to, to the touch but the um, result and the 
calculation part is still the same so we're going to take a look at that in the next tutorial so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video